Good morning, everyone. My name is Mark. Welcome to church. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. If this is your first time here, we know that it's not always easy to visit a new church. So to help out a little bit, here is something we like to call the Newcomer Essentials. If you're a mom who's nursing or you just have a fussy kiddo, we have a quiet room available upstairs overlooking the auditorium where you can take your little one and still catch the service. We have ministries available for kids from birth through sixth grade. Classroom ages and locations are posted in the hallways if you haven't already checked your kids into their classes. Once service is over, classroom checkout begins immediately. We'd really like to get to know you, so if you haven't already done so, please fill out a connect card from the seat back in front of you and drop it in the basket on the ledge of the control booth on your way out today. In just a little bit, we'll be taking up this morning's offering. Now, as a visitor, please feel no pressure to give. You're welcome to give whenever you feel comfortable or led of God to do so. If you do want to give, but forgot your cash or checkbook at home, you can give via text message from your smartphone. Just text LWOM plus the dollar amount of your gift to the number 59769 and follow the instructions that are sent back to you. And hey, we hope that you join us again next week. We'd like to invite you to come a little early for free coffee and donuts in the Fellowship Hall starting at 9 o'clock. Thanks again for joining us today, and here's the rest of this week's announcements. The launch of our small group ministry is drawing very near, and we've set out to answer the question, how many groups do we have to have going right away? If you've already signed up, thank you very much. But if you haven't, here's another chance. In the foyer after service, there will be some people with clipboards. These people are here to take your name if you're generally interested in joining a small group. There's no obligation, we just need a general idea of how many groups we need to have going right away. So, if the idea of being in a small group interests you, let us know in the foyer after service today. The next Men of Action meeting will be held on Saturday, June 6th. But this time, it's a little different because Pastor Jeff is bringing his wife Jennifer. Here's how the day will work. We're going to be having a family picnic at East Leach Park from noon to three o'clock. There will be some games lined up and it's at a park, so bring the whole family. The church is providing hot dogs and drinks, and we ask that all of those who come bring some sort of side or dessert to share, and all are welcome to come. Then, men, bring your wives for the service that evening at 6.30 because Jeff will be speaking to us and Jennifer will be speaking to the ladies. There will be no child care, so be sure to get a babysitter lined up for the little tykes. We hope to see you there. You spoke and we listened. Well, actually, you raised your hands and we saw. But anyway, we are moving forward with the photo directory that we presented to you a few weeks ago. Many of you said that you would participate if we did it, and here's your chance. The dates for photography are Friday, May 29th from 2 p.m. to 9 p.m. and Saturday, May 30th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Please allow up to 45 minutes for each portrait session. Now there are still a lot of session times to fill up, so Kristen Stroman will be available after service today to schedule your appointments and answer any questions that you may have. We would like to offer a most sincere congratulations to those in our church who are members of the 2015 graduating class. Daisy Jordan, Ben Langner, Anna Dean, and Matthew Decker. Congratulations, you guys. And here's the next three weeks. Next Sunday, May 24th, don't forget about the St. Luke's Nursing Home Roundup at 9.30 a.m. Talk to Barb Kearns if you can help out. Remember to reserve your portrait session for our photo directory today at the table in the back of the auditorium. June 6th, Jeff and Jennifer Warner will be back in Spencer for a picnic and a service. And please remember to check your bulletin for more information on these and other announcements.